Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So, let's talk about the art of undoing. It is December 30th. 2019, second to last day in 2019 as I record this episode right now. And I think I was a little inspired to talk into this, The Art of Undoing, by a video I saw on Instagram by Elizabeth Gilbert, who you may or may not know, but she wrote a little book several years ago called Eat, Pray, Love. Exploded in several books since then, and she's just an amazing human being. But she did this short video on Instagram um, she's in India right now doing some traveling and speaking. And just this, the whole notion of as we move into this new year, right? And the whole pressure with the new decade, like, oh my God, 2020, like, I got to do this big thing. I got to, and you know, if you feel called to do those things, amazing. But I think, I feel, I believe that there is so much credence that's placed in the doing and the action and the striving and the pushing and the the crushing my goals and all of that, which has beautiful pieces to it. However, I think we have forgot about the, I'm going to kind of boldly call this the lost art of undoing. What does that mean? I was hearing someone say the other day about, you know, it's like New Year's, you just sleep in and stuff. And there was this voice in my head that went like, sleep in? I don't sleep in. Like, since I was a child, I did not grow up in a family where people slept in. Like, you got up and you did things. I remember it's so funny, I remember even as a kid, like, having sleepovers over at, sleepovers at friends and people are still sleeping. I'm like, why isn't everybody up right now? Like, I don't understand what's going on, <laughs> you know? The whole thing of just, like being still or just kind of hanging out or just like, it was so foreign to me even as a child because it's not what I saw. I saw us doing things, being busy. And again, those things are great and beautiful too. You know, keeping busy can also be a strategy when you're going through a lot of hard things to kind of take your mind off of, not to numb, not to, you know, somehow wash over the stuff you're experiencing, but, you know, as a tool, as a strategy to be like, let me put my direction somewhere else, right? If you're going through a really challenging time, sadness, pain, suffering, loss, grief, often us being in service to others, right? Really helps us shift and have perspective. And by being in service to others actually helps us with our healing. So there's, there's parts and pieces and, and, you know, glints of these that I don't want you to kind of get the understanding. Let me say it this way. It's not my intention to say, never strive, never set goals, never. No, 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 not at all. But what I'm saying is that I really, really strongly believe that we can consider, I'm going to invite you to perhaps see that there's more balance that we can have almost like if you think of like, like a little picture, like a little triangle, like a teeter totter. Okay. And we've got doing on one end and undoing on the other. Okay. And so for a lot of us, the undoing one is way up in the air, right? Because we're, there's so much weight on the doing. Can you, can you feel me with that? Like, can you see that in your mind? A little teeter-totter, right? Just think of like little, small little triangle, just a, you know, a, a flat line, right? And again, you've got the teeter-totter. You know, as a kid, you want to teeter-totter, like you're going up and down. And, and so if you have then, so you have more weight, like when I've done it with my kids when they're little, I can't, I can't put mommy's full weight because I'm just flying the kids up in the air, right? So that's kind of like us. We place so much emphasis, so much energy, so much power that we feel comes in the doing. And what I'm going to have you just open your mind. You don't have to believe this. It's not my intention with any of these podcasts. It's not about see it my way. No, I just want you to just open yourself up to the possibility that perhaps there's just as much power in the undoing as the doing. There's just as much power in stillness and rest and caring for ourselves than there is in action and, you know, doing things, being active and, you know, setting goals and taking, like, 
there's just as much um, goodness, if you will, in both. But I believe that in this society, in this world that we live in, that it's, it's, you know, the stillness. Now it's starting to tip a little bit, if you will, but this, the whole thing of like just sitting in stillness or being out in nature or just having a day where you just don't do anything is actually seen as like an indulgence by most of us, right? Even I just share with you, right? Programming as a kid, it was like, well, I can't sleep in. Now for me, I actually don't even really want to do that. And I have two little kids and morning is my time for me, but it's like, you know, it, it, Again, just even to me to think of like the sleeping in, if those things weren't my life, I'd be like, no, I have things to do. I want to do things with my life, right? But can we be just as excited about the undoing as we are about the doing? You know, moving again, moving into this new year, into this new decade, it can bring up a lot of like excitement, you know, and inspiration. And this is what I want to create. I see all y'all putting up stuff like, what's my word of the year? And here's what I want to like, this is great. Like, you know, yeah, ride that enthusiasm that I'm going to have you consider that you don't have to do it just because it's a new year. You can decide this shit any old time of the year, right? But I still do believe the new year sometimes kind of gives us that fresh start, that reflection of what, you know, happened in the year, what worked, what didn't, and what, what can I, what am I going to choose now moving forward, right? Life is constantly about choices. Life is constantly about change. Life is about creation. We are all creators on this planet. That's it. And, um, but the undoing part, can we create more, going back to that teeter-totter analogy, that visual in your mind, can we create more of that balance, right? Can we create daily practice and rituals? Not that they become things to do now, right? You know, for a lot of my life, when I would do these things, workouts and you know, drink more water and any of my personal appointments and, um, you know, I don't know, simple things. Like they were all just often for me deemed as like tasks, like things that I had to chuck off my to-do list. It's funny, right? We can take those things, those, we're going to maybe just call them self-care practices and rituals and create them into like, like things we got to do. And then it just adds to the list of all the things you want to do. And you put yourself in the state of stress and overwhelm and like, oh shit. I think this is part of the piece too, why often we drop a lot of stuff that actually works for us because it's simply the way that we see it, right? So again, back to my sharing of, my st- of, of getting up in the morning, like that's for me now, like that time is like, oh, like I get up, even though I might be a little bit tired, I might get a little bit extra sleep if I can. Right now I'm home with the kids with Christmas holidays or home from school And, um, you know, I get up and I'm like, ah, I go downstairs, you know, like I pee and stuff, brush my teeth, put my contact, go downstairs, take my dogs outside. It's like this like little wave of like fresh air. I'm like, ah, this is beautiful. Take them out for a potty, come back in, I meditate. I do a home yoga practice now, like just all these things. I do my prayer, I get my celery juice and I've got water before that and then coffee. Like it's like little rituals. Like these are beautiful parts of my morning that I love read Harry Potter, the boys for making way to the Harry Potter books. Like I love all these little pieces and me from even a year, well, probably more like two years ago would see them as tasks. And so, you know, the things that I do in the morning, um, I don't know if they're more or less than things I've done in the past, whatever, doesn't matter. It's irrelevant, but what's different is the way that I choose to see it. So I would have you just really make sure that the undoing things, your meditation practice, if you have that, journaling if you do or want to, um, going on a walk, having time just for you, taking 10 deep breaths, like um, just so you know too, I get it if you are, you know, mother, working mother on top of that, like wife, uh, maybe you're caring for your, you know, elderly parents, you've got family stuff going on, you've got your own health stuff, like I get it, we are all walking around here with women on this planet with just so much shit on our plate. I, I see you sister. I really, really do. So there's no shaming. There's no, like you got it. Don't do the guilt. It's none of that shit. But literally, you know, your self-care practice would be like, man, I'm going to set the timer on my phone. I don't know, once, twice, three times a day. And when it goes off, I'm going to take three deep breaths. This is about quality, not quantity, okay? Quality over quantity. 
but can we spend as much time in the non-doing as we do in the doing? And I know it's not as sexy. And I know that, you know, there's so like, look at all the stuff I did, right? Like I used to carry that as a badge of honor for years, years. Didn't sleep a whole lot. I don't need sleep, but, but all ego. Like it's fine. It's what was. It was my best at that time. Now I know different. Now I crave the, the non-doing times. Now I allow myself. There's, and listen, it's, it's, not, it's not perfection, right? I still have moments where I'm like, oh, I got to be doing stuff. I got to be, da, 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 you know? Like, for example, the More Club, which is launching on January the 1st, which I will tell you about at the end of the podcast in a few minutes, is like, oh my God, I'm so pumped about this. And I have some more things I need to do today. The kids are at home. We're going to hit a movie later today. Like, I'm like, and I have to do some video things for it, which means I got to shower and do hair. And it's a beautiful thing about podcasting, by the way. I am sitting up here, sitting on my bed, looking at the duck pound uh, out the window of the bedroom and in the backyard and, or just beyond the backyard and doesn't matter how I look. I don't care about makeup. Like video is a little different video. I, I want to, you know, I need to have some lighting. 50 year old woman light is my friend. And so I will get that done, but I can easily go to that place too of like, Oh my God, I shouldn't be doing, I, I will put my journaling aside. Cause I got to get these videos. I got to figure out what I'm saying. I got it. You know? And it's like, let me just breathe. It'll all get done. Because here's the biggest piece, which we kind of know, like cerebrally, you might kind of, you know, go and nod your head and get this, but I want you to really feel this in your heart. When you spend time in the undoing, it actually allows you to do more of the doing. It's like slowing down to speed up, right? It's like, think when you go to the gym, you might know, I can think of times when I used to I lifted weights for like 30 plus years to CrossFit. And if I would kind of overtrain, if I would do a lot of days in the row in a row and I wouldn't allow my body to have the, the downtime or have like an active rest day, like I'd go for a walk instead of walk the dogs versus like hitting a really heavy workout, then my body didn't have time to recover in between, which meant that when I used to in the past hit four to five CrossFit, these are really intense, heavy workouts every single week. That fourth and that fifth one, often sucked. Like I didn't have a lot of gas left in the tank by that point. I could still, I could still get through it. I could still maybe do okay. That fifth one for for sure was a stinker, right? Because I didn't, I didn't allow then the time for my body to recover and repair and rest versus when I would do three a week or maybe even four some weeks when I was CrossFitting then and I allow my body the time in between. Well, guess what? When I showed up for the workout, I was like ready. Like I, I had, the gas tank was full, right? I could be all in with it. I could give it my all. And it wasn't the, I'm kind of dragging my ass because I was just like, I got to work out. I got to work out. I got to work out. When I look back now, I do so much less, um, you know, workout stuff, let's just say it, than I've, I have in the past. It's a very different way that I live my life now. More aligned with things that really feel good in my body. Not the lifting weights didn't feel good or CrossFit didn't feel good, but it's tough on the body. You know, it just, it, it is. So the undoing pieces allows me in the limits of time, that just the reality, the limits of time I have in my day, because I drop off my kids at school and I pick them up. So I've got like literally about five hours kind of front to back of this is now the work time, which is also my workout time often, which is also my any personal appointment time. Like there's a lot of things for me, you know, to, to kind of to use that time really wisely, right? And, but I also know that, you know, the times that I do have, I'm like, okay, this is my, this is my undoing. I'm going to call and connect with my mom because my dad passed away about three and a half months ago. And now my mom is significant dementia, so that's a whole other piece of it too, but you know, I'm on, the, I'm on the phone with her every single day. A couple minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. But like, that's something that's really, that's part of my, my undoing, right? Is that pouring into gratitude and love of my mom and just having that daily connection. 
you know, doing the reading that I do and some studying time and some of the things that aren't necessarily where I'm like doing, I'm like on a coaching call or someone's applying to work with me or I'm shooting a video or I'm recording a podcast, but times when I'm like learning and absorbing and like, that's kind of some undoing time as well, right? It's anytime the undoing is kind of like this sister. It's anytime that we just take time to kind of pause. I don't mean you have to just be in stillness and meditation, right? It can be. But it can be times too that we just take our foot off the gas. Like we give ourselves permission to stop pushing, forcing, controlling, like just letting go. And knowing that you will have your time to take the action, the doing, but that you are doing your absolute best to keep that teeter-totter kind of somewhat balanced, right? It's never going to be a perfection. It's always going to be a little bit more on one side, a little bit more on the other right? Maybe if you're on holidays, it's a lot more of the undoing. We're creating that balance, right? Almost think of it like, like a rhythm, right? You kind of think being in that teeter-totter, like back and forth, like up and down, right? Up and down. So maybe balance isn't the best word because it isn't about exactly that, but it's just, there's that rhythm. Can you create a rhythm in the undoing as much as you are with the doing action? So here's your more tip for today. Here's something kind of fun. I want you just, and this is, it doesn't have to be a big thing, okay? But I want you to take a look at, um, I don't know, what you did yesterday. Let's make it really simple, right? And just kind of write down the stuff that you did. You know, I don't know, made breakfast for the kids. Um, you know, I went to the movies with a friend. I worked like these hours. I went to the gym. I watched Netflix, I whatever. And just take a look at all the things you did, okay? Don't, don't look at them and go, oh, I should have done. Like, don't do any of that stuff. I know your brain's gonna wanna go there. You're gonna wanna censor it. It's just for you. Just go, here's the stuff I did. Here's the actions I took, right? Or the, the, the even if, again, if it's like, this is I meditated, I did yoga, I did, like, whatever it is, right? Took a bath, whatever. Went for a walk, grocery shopped. I did some cleaning. Like, just list all the things that you did yesterday, and then I want you to put a D next to the things that are doing. It's like your actions, right? And a U next to the undoing ones, okay? And just take a look at it. Now, you might, you know, your brain also might go to the place of, yeah, but it's, you know, it's Christmas holidays and the kids are home. It's a little different schedule. Like, I get it. Just, just yesterday. Let's just make it easy, right? I know it might not be your average day. I know it might not be your typical day or it was a work day or, you know, don't go crazy about it. This is just to make it simple, and just reflect on it. Now, you might take a look at it and go, oh, man, I just fill the day with shit. Like, just doing, 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 doing. No matter, no wonder I'm so tired, right? Or you might take a look and go, oh, actually, there's a lot of undoing. Maybe I actually need to take more action. Maybe, maybe you have kind of like morphed to the other side of the teeter-totter and you're really good with the undoing, but maybe you need to do, there needs to be a little bit more action taken, Right? Like, just reflect on it. No guilt, no shame. Don't judge yourself. Don't beat yourself up. None of that. Just a noticing. And then from that noticing, I want you to take one action, okay? Just, again, simple. Don't make it complicated. The one action might be, you know what? I am actually going to make it where this is the year where I meditate every single day, and it's five minutes, and I can do that, and I am deserving, and I am worthy, and I want this for me. And here's what I'm going to do it, right? It could be something simple like that. It could be... You know, I'm going to drink this amount of water each day. It could be, um, gosh, I don't know. I'm going to write down three things I'm grateful for. I'm going to have this as, you know, a friend of mine has this as a practice before she goes to bed. And I just, in her head, she just kind of goes through what are the three things I'm grateful for. Like simple, simple, right? Or it could be the action piece. It could be there's something you're wanting to create within, you know, creating a business or you're writing or, you know, maybe you want to start up a podcast or it's, I don't know, whatever it is, something with work or something with your home or something with your family that is a doing, is an action, something with your health. I don't know, whatever that is for you. And you might just choose, well, what's the one thing that I can do with that? Okay, so just, again, just recap. So you're going to take a look at yesterday. You're going to list, you're going to write down. So not in your head because you've got to see it, okay? You're going to write down your journal on a piece of paper. Here's all the things I did yesterday. Here's all the, you know, from kind of when I woke up to when I went to bed, here's all the things that took up my day. And you're going to put a U if there are any of the undoing, okay? Like just, again, stillness, times where you kind of just did pause, like you just kind of relaxed, you chilled, you weren't striving. And then you're going to put a D next to the doing ones, right? So maybe you worked, you prepared meals for the kids, 
you clean grocery shop, like, you know, whatever those things are, just you classify it for you and then just reflect on that. And then take one action of what you're going to do to create more of that rhythm, okay? We say balance, but more of that rhythm between the undoing and the doing, okay? So, okay, the more club, okay, this is, I'm, I'm really, really excited about this. Like, I'm so excited to share this with you on January the 1st. The more club is a place for us to continue the conversation after this podcast, okay? It is a place for you to be where I'm going to give you lots of cool stuff, and you're going to see when I give you the link coming on January the 1st for you to go in and to join me and hundreds of thousands of women from around the world to be part of the More Club. You're going to see all the really, really cool benefits that come along with this, but this is the bigger piece. I want to get this message out to more of you, you know? And like, this is for so many of you that are just like, hey, Karen, I can't do the retreat thing. I got a bunch of kids. Like we don't financially have the money, even just like an online course. The More Club is something that I promise is for every woman. It is for every woman. It is more so even than the journals, the free journals where you actually paid for a little bit of shipping, but I did that for a couple of years and sent out over 600 to women all around the world, like 20 plus countries. And like, this is something that's even easier, even more affordable, even like it's, you're going to go in when you see the link then coming up in a couple of days and be like, oh my God, I'm so into this, right? Like, let's do this. But is it a place for us to continue the conversation, for me to give you more, for you to be part of this movement so we can really help women create more of who they are, not more stuff, not because you want to create more money, which is nothing wrong with those things, right? Or you want more health. Or, no, this is of you creating more of who you are, owning your worthiness, owning the power of you being a woman, owning the things that you want within your life. And being able to do that in a way that does not burn you and run you into the ground. Okay, so this is the conversation continued and all sorts of amazing benefits. So that is coming up very soon in two days. I will do a podcast section on New Year's Day and then I will drop the link in that, okay? Um, okay, so that's going to be within there. And then right now too, the Women Want Tomorrow Retreat Experience, there's just a few spots that are left. And so if you would like to join me here in Victoria, BC, Canada, end of January, 2020, you got to get on this system. So here's what you need to do because it is by application. Okay. Very, very small event, but by application only. This is not for every woman, but it might just be for you. So you just need to send me a text 250-589-4811. So 250-589-4811 and simply say, Karen, I would like to apply for the retreat. I will connect with you quickly after that. And we will begin that application process. All right, sister. So I will talk to the next episode. A life of more really is one step away from you understanding the art of undoing and not just the doing every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter.